Hey everybody and welcome back to Basement Universe and as always I'm Steve and I am Corey and today we're not bringing you a first react as we normally do or I guess it kind of is because we didn't see the movie but you're not going to be watching it with us today we're just doing a review of The Black Phone. Cruel. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounded like I said cruel but I said cool. Cool. Although the movie was slightly cruel at times. It was cruel. Definitely very <laughs> cruel at times in very different ways. I know I probably have a terrible memory. I don't, who, who was the director? We just said the name. So yeah, this was a movie that just came out this year. Um, it was Scott Derrickson who directed it, who uh, also did... Uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Yeah. And Sinister, which he teamed up with Ethan Hawke on that one too. Oh yeah, right. And also... Also um, Sinister too. Yeah. Which I didn't like, personally. Yeah. I didn't even watch it. But because yeah, yeah, I Sin said I hated it. <laughs> yeah, but Sinister was a great film, and it really made me want to watch this one, especially. I mean, Ethan Hawke looked like he was, you know, going to be incredible just based on the trailer. Yeah, I like Ethan Hawke a lot. That's what, you know another draw to the movie is that I think he's good in the parts that he plays. I like. Yeah, I mean, he did a fantastic job in uh, in this movie of playing a creepy dude. He was very creepy. Yeah, with definitely a lot of fucking issues. So essentially. The movie takes place in, I believe it was the late 70s, right? Yeah, it was I think like 1978, 1978 in Denver. Oh, whoop, whoop. Uh, and essentially, there's just children that are being abducted around the neighborhood, and the main character gets abducted. And then in this basement area that he is, there's a, f a black phone on the wall that's not really connected to anything, and, that, and he just speaks to the other children, or so it seems, that were abducted. Yeah. You're not really sure if it's like really happening at first if they're like kind of alive is it supernatural but yeah, yeah it definitely makes you question what's real like is he is he really talking to people or like is this just in his head yeah. how is this you know how is this gonna help or right. you know hinder him but yeah the the movie starts off does a really good job of like building the character relationships with his sister mostly and his abusive father Yes, and he's also, I don't know, I forget the yeah. actor's names. Yeah, I'm so bad with the actor's names, but yeah, he was... Yeah, pull it up real quick, what does it matter? Yeah, as you say, we can, uh, we can cheat, so the right? Main, the main character, the boy, the boy who gets abducted, his character's name is Finney, played by actor Mason, I'm going to say Thames, but yeah. maybe it's Thames, it's T-H-A-M-E-S. I would have said Thames, yeah. Um, and then his sister is character name Gwen played by Madeline McGraw. Yeah. Oh, and then the uh, the dad is uh, Jeremy Davies is the actor's yes. name. Is da played Terrence and he was also, more famously to us, he played Oblum. Um, Oblum, Oblum yeah. or whatever you say. From Saving Private Ryan. From Saving Ryan. Private Ryan. Most the guy useless who doesn't fucking character. save his friend. He just sits in the stairwell and cries like a little bitch. Yeah. And uh, one of the other characters <laughs> that was in um, Sinister who returned for this one was James Ransone. Max. Oh, he also played brother. Eddie in uh, the It movies, the new ones, which was pretty cool. Overall, I mean, the cast was really great. Um, <laughs> like I said earlier, like just before, the the film does a good job of like building the relationships between the family, you know, Finn and his family, the, you know, his sister, his father, but also like with the the missing kids and his, you know, his friends. Some of them, which yeah, and like go a pretty missing. in like a pretty short time. It's not like too long before it gets to the action. And then it's not really long or any, or drawn out that, you know, that he's really, I guess that he's like in captivity either or yeah. like whatever is going on. Yeah, they don't waste situation. too. They don't they waste very much time, time getting to the action. Yeah, I'm trying not to give away anything here. Yeah, obviously, we're trying, like, trying no to keep spoiler it spoiler videos free. here. <laughs> um, what was the other thing that I was going to say? <clears throat> Oh yeah, like so. So the characters are could be very abrasive at times, but really oh, funny. Yeah, yeah. The sister is his really, sister is really hilarious. Funny. <laughs> the right out of for like nowhere, characters. she seems like she was kind of be like this like sweet little girl, and then when she like, I won't obviously it doesn't give anything away to say when she told off those police officers, it was like really funny. Yeah, sassy, very. But overall, I mean, uh, w again, without giving anything away, I thought it was a really cool story. Um... I will say, like, that it does lean a little bit more towards the supernatural. Yeah, it definitely has supernatural elements. It does a good job of, like like we said kind of before, but making you wonder, like, what's real, what's right. not real, you know? So it kind of, that, that kind of pulls you in and keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time and obviously wondering what's going to happen with Finny. Is he going to escape? Is he going to get murdered? Yeah. And there's, like, interesting things that go on with, like, You've obviously, if you've seen the movie or you're watching the movie, you've probably seen 
posters or the mask that he's like wearing in the cover. Oh yeah, the it's mask like, was very cool. All, very creepy, very cool, and a lot of different things I'll say that he does with the mask in the movie that are that were like a little surprising that I actually thought made it interesting and also even creepier somehow where I'm like, what is he doing? I was trying to figure yeah, out like it definitely added to the creepiness of each, you know, scenario where he's, you know, talking and interacting with Finney with a different right version of the mask on. Yeah, just to, like, set a stage, you know, just to have some good things to look forward to for the movie. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, I feel like he's got a very specific style. I mean, if I'm just going back to referencing Scott Derrickson doing horror films, Mm -hmm. it it does feel a lot or draws a lot of inspiration from Sinister, at least in my my eyes. Uh, Obviously, this film, like we said, takes place in the 70s. Right. And throughout the film you know i'm not going to spoil anything but there are certain like flashbacks that you will you know encounter and which is kind of a thing that references sinister because he gets the box of tape tapes in sinister and all the murders are from the 70s and it's kind of you can kind of you know put those two things together that's true it's it's like yeah he's it's cool to to see how he likes that time period maybe because it seems like he yeah it seems seems like he likes the 70s I mean, I definitely do. I, th- I think anything that takes place in, like, the 70s, like, 80s or whatnot is usually cool. That's why I like Stranger Things. I don't know. There's just something about it. It just gives me, like, a cool... Yeah, it gives you a, you know... Cool vibe. That feeling inside. Not that I was, like, really there for any of it, but it just seems <laughs> like so much better times, like, where people just didn't like... I don't know. Yeah, and some of the best movies and, and stuff, pop culture stuff, yeah. came out of the 70s and 80s. Just where, like, not everything you said got you, like, canceled or, like, well, you know... exactly, like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> things were very... It was a different world. Walk on water, you know, but... But, yeah, like, like we were saying, you could definitely see the, uh, you know, the, the similarities in the two films. Tread lightly, I meant tread lightly. Tread, tread lightly. Don't <laughs> tre- walk on water. What am I, Jesus? Don't tread on me. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of Jesus, no, we won't get into that, but oh, that you'll have really to watch funny. the movie. That's another funny part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice segue. But, yeah, perfect segue. Um, I mean, I think that pretty much wraps up what what we really wanted to talk about without spoiling anything. Yeah, yeah but, there's really not too much we could say other than... But we both really enjoyed the film. I know that uh, one of our friends didn't care for it as much. That's the only other thing I was going to say. And, uh, yeah, I was going to... Because, like, based on the ending, without giving it away, I would say, like, it does leave a little bit to be desired, possibly. Not, like, not, not a good movie, just... Some people, like Heish, did maybe just wanted a little bit more of, out of an explanation. Yeah, yeah. Of some sort. Yeah, so this movie is... It could be a hit or miss for the ending specifically, like a lot of horror films or a lot of certain uh, directors and their, their styles. But... I personally liked it. Um, yeah, it kept me on edge for like a while. Like we talked about, again, to summarize, like acting really good. Yeah, I mean... I would Ethan Hawke really creepy. <laughs> yeah, there there's so many good takeaways from the film. It kind of disturbed me, kind of like the the uh, Candyman dude does from like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or whatever, like the child catcher oh, from that fucking movie. Yeah. If, if anybody remembers that dude, like <laughs> yeah, that children creepy. or whatever, like yeah, yeah, that with guy the big gave fucking creepy vibes. Like, be, like, I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it def- definitely gives off those creepy vibes. Um, I I think I'm good. Yeah. So you want to close I out? would I would definitely recommend seeing it uh if you, you know, if you didn't already have interest in seeing it. I think it's worth worth a watch. So. I agree. So we recommend it highly. I would maybe like if I was going to number it if people wanted that kind of thing, I'd maybe give it like a like a 7. Yeah, I seven I mean that, that's, that's pretty fair. I might even go as high as an 8. For would me, you? For me, yeah. Okay. It's definitely a solid film. I probably was trying to like downplay it a little bit, but like I said, I might be being a it, little harsh. It all depends on how you feel. Obviously, you know, everybody takes different different things into uh, you know their consideration. Own, yeah, their own consideration. You know, I mean, I will say one last point that it's like I think I'd watch it again, and that says a lot. Like if you watch, watch some, if you watch something and you think it's worth even rewatching again, it got at some great point, reviews then. on a lot of the uh, a lot of the websites. So, and uh, they are in talks potentially to do a sequel. So cool. That's cool. Right? Hopefully it's not as terrible as Sinister 2 was. Like I said, didn't okay. see it, but I'll take his word for it. Well, check out the movie, guys, and check out our channel, Basement Universe. Yes, please. Steve Corey. Steve Corey. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave us some comments. Let us know what you think of yeah, the Yeah, check film. out the movie. Let do you agree know. with our opinions, our ratings, or do you think we're total morons? 
Yeah, let us know what you think of Sinister too, like or any of the comparisons or any, yeah, any that of we made, films. whatever. Yeah, just like <laughs> curious to know what people think about those. You know, since it's the same, same director. You yeah, know? same director, kind of the same style. Mm-hmm. And subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos, whether it's first reacts, movie reviews, game videos, whatever. Whatever we feel like. And follow us on the socials for even more content and updates. Yeah. 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 That's all we got. uh, Yeah. And as always with that. With that being said, we out. Later, y'all. Enjoy the movie.